The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Prince Edward and Sophie, recently embarked on a deeply personal and moving visit to Malta, where they paid tribute to Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip by recreating cherished memories of the late monarch and her husband. Their visit to Malta served not only as a tribute to the past, but also as an exploration of the historical connection between the British royal family and the Mediterranean island nation. The couple's visit to Villa Gardamangia, the former residence of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, was filled with reflection, emotion, and admiration. The villa holds great significance for the royal family, as it was once home to the then Princess Elizabeth and her new husband, Prince Philip, while he served as a Royal Navy officer in Malta from 1949 to 1951. During this time, Queen Elizabeth II experienced one of the rare moments of normality in her life, living as a naval officer's wife in post-war Malta before ascending to the throne. As part of their visit, the Duke and Duchess recreated iconic photographs of the late Queen and Prince Philip, reliving moments from over 70 years ago when the royal couple enjoyed their early married life at the Maltese villa. The photographs taken during Edward and Sophie's visit echoed those from the late 1940s and early 1950s, symbolizing a powerful connection between the past and present. One of the most poignant moments during their tour was their exploration of an exhibition in the villa's garden. The exhibition featured photographs of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, highlighting their time in Malta. The garden, though now somewhat weathered, still exudes the charm and beauty that once made it a peaceful retreat for the young couple. Edward and Sophie were particularly struck by the work being done to restore Villa Gardamangia, which had fallen into disrepair over the years. They were given a detailed tour of the restoration efforts and learned about the plans to transform the villa into a museum that will be preserved as a 1950s house by 2030. With approximately 10 million euros, 8.4 million pounds, allocated to the project, the villa will eventually serve as a tribute to the era and to the royal couple who once called it home. The visit was made even more meaningful through personal encounters with individuals who have close ties to the villa. One such individual was Elizabeth Puel, whose mother, Jessie, worked as a housekeeper at Villa Gardamangia when the Queen and Prince Philip lived there. Edward warmly reminisced with her, saying, I know that my mother spotted your mother in a crowd when she came on a visit. She never forgot her. Such moments of connection were scattered throughout the couple's visit, reflecting the deep sense of attachment that many Maltese people feel toward the British royal family. According to Giancarlo Azapardi, assistant curator at Heritage Malta, there is a strong emotional link between the villa and Malta's older generation, who remember the country's time as a British colony and naval base. Azapardi explained, there's always that attachment. Obviously, there's a nostalgic element, and then you obviously have the celebrity status of the royal family, so there's that link. Amid the tour, Edward and Sophie found a rare moment of privacy in the garden, near a dilapidated fountain. In this quiet corner, they took in the significance of their surroundings and shared a personal conversation. It was a subtle yet touching reminder of the special connection the royal family has with Malta, a place that once provided solace and happiness to their late relatives. As the tour progressed, the couple was accompanied by the sound of bells, rung specially by a local priest to honor their visit. This moment further underscored the significance of the occasion and the lasting impact Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip had on the people of Malta during their time on the island. The visit concluded with Edward and Sophie posing for photographs on the villa's roof, a setting that holds deep historical meaning. They were asked to recreate a famous image of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip taken decades earlier on that very rooftop. This touching tribute was a poignant reminder of the enduring legacy of the late Queen and her devoted husband. Malta's connection to the British royal family extends far beyond the time that Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip spent there in the early days of their marriage. The island played a key role in British naval strategy during and after World War II, serving as a British base in the Mediterranean. For the royal couple, Malta was a place of relative normalcy, a rare opportunity to live away from the public eye. Despite the misconception that Queen Elizabeth lived in Malta as a regular sailor's wife, her time there was far from ordinary. 
Giancarlo Azzaparty emphasized that the princess was not merely enjoying domestic life in Malta. Instead, she was actively involved in numerous public events and engagements, representing post-war Britain and its evolving role on the world stage. Every single day, she was at an event, Azzaparty explained, highlighting the princess's tireless dedication to her duties even during this seemingly quiet chapter of her life. The restoration of Villa Gardamangia is a testament to the importance of preserving this historical site, not only for its royal connections, but also for its role in Malta's broader cultural heritage. Once the villa is fully restored, it will serve as a tangible reminder of the enduring bond between Malta and the British royal family, a bond that has been cherished by generations of Maltese people. The planned restoration of Villa Gardamangia is a project of significant historical and cultural importance. With a budget of approximately 10 million euros, Heritage Malta aims to return the villa to its former glory, recreating the atmosphere of the 1950s when Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip called it home. The villa will be carefully restored to reflect the era, complete with period-appropriate furnishings and decorations. By 2030 or 2031, Villa Gardamangia will open its doors to the public as a museum, offering visitors a glimpse into the lives of the royal couple during their time in Malta. The restoration project will not only preserve a piece of royal history, but also celebrate Malta's unique role in the British Empire and its continued connection to the United Kingdom. The project has already garnered significant attention, drawing royal fans and historians alike. As Giancarlo Azzaparty noted, the villa's royal connections make it a popular destination for those eager to learn more about the queen's early life and her enduring relationship with Malta. However, until the restoration is complete, the villa remains closed to the public. We get people knocking on the door, ideally they don't do that, as a party remarked, underscoring the villa's allure, even in its current dilapidated state. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh's visit to Malta was a touching tribute to Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, whose time on the island remains a cherished part of their legacy. For Edward and Sophie, the visit was an opportunity to connect with the past, honor the memory of their late relatives, and witness firsthand the efforts to preserve a piece of royal history. As Malta prepares to restore Villa Gardamangia to its former splendor, the royal family's connection to the island continues to flourish. For the people of Malta, the villa represents not only a symbol of the past, but also a bridge to the future, one that honors the unique and enduring relationship between the British royal family and the Mediterranean nation. The visit of the Duke and Duchess was not only a personal reflection on family history, but also a reminder of the broader historical ties between Malta and the British monarchy. As Heritage Malta continues its efforts to restore the villa, the royal couple's tribute will remain a defining moment in the villa's restoration journey. Write in the comments what you think about this. And at the end of the video, I ask you to subscribe and like. Thank you.